How's it going, Minties? The Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition. And today I'm going to take an advanced look at Star Wars Volume 12, Star Wars The Age of Resistance Heroes, and Age of Resistance Villains from Marvel Comics. So please stay tuned. Okay, the very first book we're going to look at is Star Wars Volume 12, Rebels and Rogues. Uh, now, before I get started on this, I want to say a quick thank you to David Gabriel and the folks at Marvel for sending us advanced copies of these books. Uh, this book and the rest of these are scheduled to well, actually, no, these two are scheduled to come out November 13th, and then this one the following week. But regardless, this is part of the ongoing series that started with Jason Aaron and John Cassidy. Uh, now let's look at the book, though. This episode is sponsored by CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your book so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you minties... Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first-time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout, and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. Okay, so I'm not going to flip too much through here, but I just wanted to show you some of this gorgeous Phil Notto artwork. Uh, the book collects issues 68 through 72 of the ongoing series. And as I mentioned, uh, this is a continuation of the revamp series that Jason Aaron and um, John Cassidy started. However, Marvel announced about a couple of months ago that they were canceling the series as of issue 75. So there should be a volume 13 of these. Of course, they're going to end up continuing the series. It just won't be the same, whether it's going to be Empire Strikes Back or Star Wars, something else. It's a huge franchise for them, so they're going to continue. Um, let's see. Since I don't want to flip too much through here, here is the way that you can collect them and trade paperbacks. Here's volumes one through six. By the way, this book retails for $15.99, and it has 120 pages. Here's all the age of stuff that I'll talk about here in a second, but here is all the way up to volume 11, which will catch you up to this. Now, of course, the Omnibus collected uh, volumes one through five of this stuff of... Now, of course, the Omnibus Collected Volumes 1 through 5 of this ongoing series here. Let me look through the back here. Okay, so we can at least look at this. These are the extras, like the variant covers. They love their toy covers, and they're actually pretty cool. I'm not sure if anybody's out there collecting the singles and still collects those. Here's a variant covers of the 68 Greatest Moments. They're all done by different artists like Walter Simonson, Terry Dotson. This one over here was done by Carrie Andrews. Just classic moments from the movies. And then uh, this is the omnibus, the advertisement for the omnibus. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is Age of Resistance Heroes. Um, the first thing that I noticed, well, the second thing, the very first thing I noticed was this beautiful piece right here by Mike McCone. I had no idea how awesome of an artist he had become. Um, the second thing I noticed is the writer, Tom Taylor. He wrote 95% of this stuff in here. Uh, there's a couple of little things in the back that somebody else, some other uh, writers wrote, but for the most part, he wrote all of this stuff. So the collection, this particular collection, uh, collects all these one shots. So it collects uh, Age of Resistance Finn, uh, Rose Tico, Poe da Dameron, Poe Dameron, and then Ray, number one. And then there's a special. And I have to say, because I'm a huge fan of Tom Taylor. I went into this series with high expectations. I think out of all the characters, because they they're kind of the new uh, batch of kids, uh, the latest three episodes, or I guess two so far, with one coming out soon, are the ones that don't get a lot of collections. Of, are uh, other than Poe Dameron, are the ones that kind of get left out of the stories. There's not a lot of stuff uh, for them, at, le at least to me in comic books, because you know we've had decades for telling stories about Luke and Han and Leia and then of course and then of course also the early years of Anakin, Qui-Gon and young Obi-Wan. This issue in particular is a prime example of how wonderful Tom Taylor's writing is. He was able to take this character of Rose Tico who I was indifferent about. I know she's got a huge fan following in because of the one movie she was in. Uh, but 
you know, and I have strong feelings about that movie, but that's not a review of the movie, so we're talking about this. But this particular issue made me really care about her. Of course, he's not alone. He's joined by Ramon Rosanas, who supplies the artwork, and I don't want to flip too much through here. And I thought it was pretty interesting. Actually, all of these were really good, with the exception of maybe Ray. I found her story kind of boring, especially the time that they chose for her uh, to focus on her character. Yeah. But man, these little one-shots here... Yeah, these are great. Let me show you some of this stuff here. So these one shot, the one shot, the special here focuses on these three characters. So you have a story of Mascatana, then you have a story of Moldo, um, Amelin Moldo, and then of course BB-8. And Tom Taylor does the first one with, uh, which is the Mascatana story. Then G. Will Wilson writes Holdo story, and somebody whose name, <laughs> of course, I have to pronounce Chris Elepolis. He's the guy that did a lot of the kids stuff. Um, he writes this BB-8, which is a freaking awesome story. And that's all I will say about that. I do want to show you all these variant covers, especially the ones by Mark McCone. I had no idea how wonderful of an artist he had become. I love that guy's stuff ever since uh, his days of doing Avengers Academy. Now, here's a piece by Joe Quesada. It kind of looks like Mobius, honestly. And here's all the Mike McCone stuff. Like, man, damn, that dude has gotten solid. That is a gorgeous piece of art. I don't know what he's working on these days, but somebody put him on a monthly book. And here's Allegiance, which comes out later this month. Okay, now we're going to look at Age of Resistance villains. By the way, Age of Resistance Heroes has a retail price of $17.99, much like this one here, $17.99. Uh, Age of Resistance Heroes, however, is 128 pages, whereas this one here is 120 pages. So this is very similar to the formula of Age of Resistance Heroes. It collects a series of one-shots, but this time from the villain side of things. So it collects Age of Resistance Captain Phasma, uh, General Hux, Kylo Ren, and then Supreme Leader Snoke. And all of this is drawn by Tyler... Um, Leonard Kirk, and again, Tom Taylor on writing duties. You can probably tell from here. So let's look a little bit through here. One thing I will say about Leonard Kirk, his art, man, he still has this very similar Rick Leonardi uh, look to his art style. You know, and for some reason, I don't know, I, I was never a big fan of his. Even with the modern colors that they use on his artwork, it still looks the same the way he was drawing back in the early 90s and 80s. Um, yeah, but I don't know. I never I never really acquired a taste for his artwork. Here, let's flip a little more through here. Actually, that's, these are kind of badass. I say that, and then I'm looking at these creature designs, and they're pretty badass. Like, seriously. Maybe it's just his humans I'm not a fan of, because the creature designs on the book, wow. It's really good, and of course the colors help, but still. All right, maybe I am going to bite my tongue about Leonard Kirk. So again, it's Tom Taylor expanding on these characters that were uh, a little bit of screen time in the movie, and and then other characters like Kylo Ren who have just hogged the entire second movie. But let's look at the back here at the extras. And here's some of the variant covers. That's a gorgeous piece right there. Mike McCohen again. Just keep going on about that guy. It's a nice piece. It's good. It's Kylo, too. These are the movie variants. And then I want to say that's a Ron Friends. Yeah. Classic. See? I like Ron Friends, and I think a lot of people probably put Leonard, Kick in, uh, Leonard Kirk in the same category. Then we have some, let's see, the art process here. I love when they add things like this. You all probably know that by now. And I think out of all these Age of books, these were the best ones to me. And I like Greg Pak, but I love Tom Taylor. Uh, all New Wolverine. Man, some of the best comic books ever. Uh, I kind of hope that they'll do an omnibus of that one day. And that is it. And again, a reminder that these two books come out on November 13th. And then this one here on the 20th of this month. And that was it. That was the content of each of the books. Let me know in the comments down below if you're picking these up. If you're hoping that they'll release some kind of Star Wars Omnibus Volumes 2 and 3. Um, I myself am kind of hoping for more of that Dr. Afra collection. Or Ifra. Afra. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, honestly. Damn. 
I always make myself look like a fool on these things. Good thing I'm not replying back to comments this week. <laughs> yeah, I, I do want to remind everybody this has been pre-recorded. So just in case I don't reply back to you, it's not because I'm being a jerk. It's because I'm taking a week off. So uh, let me know in the comments down below if you're picking them up because I'm still going to read the comments when I get back. Uh, if you're picking these up, if you're hoping that all this Age of Republic, Age of Rebellion, and Age of Resistance is going to be collected in some kind of oversized hardcover, uh, don't miss out on these. I think these are, to me, my favorite ones that have come out, and that's mainly because of Tom Taylor. Now, please hit that like button, subscribe, notifications, and remember if it's classy and cool, it must be near mint.